I'm going to show you all the ways you can remove a black background from your footage. I have this great lightning visual effects clip that I got from footagecrate.com and I want to place it over this background shot that I have here. One way I can do that is by using what's called a blending mode. So I can come over to mode and let's choose screen, which will get rid of our black background. And we can see we have our lighting effect over the top of it. In this case, the lighting is looking a little too invisible. I'm losing a lot of those details. So let's change our blending mode from screen back to normal. And instead, let's use a technique called unmolting. Over in my effects and presets tab, I'll type unmolt. And you'll see this alpha from lightness unmolt preset. This comes with After Effects. And if I just click and drag that onto my clip, you'll see it uses two effects, the shift channels effect and the remove color matting effect. And you can see this preserves a little bit more of the values in our lightning clip than the blending mode did. Now, unmolting this way does work, but I actually like to use the free Crates Unmolt plugin. I'll show you why. So this is using the native unmolting process in After Effects. I'll go ahead and delete these effects. Then I'll just drag on the Crates Unmolt. And you can see how much more that actually preserves. This gives us way more control over the look of our footage. For this clip, I'd probably drop on an exposure and bump that up. If you want to download Crates Unmolt, I'll put a link to it in the description below. All you have to do is download the portal application, install the LaForge suite, and you'll find a host of different plugins, some pro, some free. One of them, of course, is the awesome Crates Unmolt plugin. Blending modes and unmolting are great ways of removing a black background from your footage, but only if you don't have any black values in what you're trying to preserve. Here, let me show you what I mean. I just created this super quick text animation, nothing fancy, and I want to remove the black background. I'll try a blending mode first, so let's go to screen. And this looks way too transparent, just like before. So let's undo that. I'll switch that back to normal. So let's try unmolting it. I'll use Crate's Unmolt for this. And this does a much better job, but if I zoom in, we could see a little bit of our background is actually still sneaking through, like these lines here. And that's not exactly what I want. Now I could just duplicate my clip, and that's actually gonna help a ton. But I'll show you a couple other ways you can remove a black background, which is going to help depending on your situation. Over in my Effects and Presets tab, I'm going to search for Luma Key, and let's apply that to my text layer. It's already set to key out darker. Then I could just increase the threshold. Now this is nice, but we can see some issues like this black line around our text is still being preserved, but we're not having those transparency issues like we were having before. So I can continue to increase that until I start to cut into my text. So maybe let's bring this down a little bit. I can try adjusting the tolerance, the edge thin. Maybe we'll keep that at one. And I can even try feathering out a little bit. That looks decent. But if I drop it on a white background, you can see we still have this very crunchy edge. So instead of using edge thin, I'll go over to my effects and presets window and I'll just type refine soft matte and apply this refine soft matte effect to my layer. And you can see that does a much better job of cleaning things up. We do have a couple problem areas like inside the R and the D and the O. But if I zoom in here, all I have to do is go to my refine a soft matte effect and decrease the additional edge radius. I'll just type four. And you can see that did a great job of cleaning everything up. In this example, using a Luma key and a refined soft matte worked extremely well together, but there are situations I've run into where using this combination of effects doesn't work out. So I'll show you one last way of removing a black background from your footage. So I'll go ahead and delete those effects. Now this technique only works if your background doesn't have any noise. You need it to be one uniform value or color. I'll go ahead and hit Control Y to create a new layer. Select my eyedropper tool, select this black background and hit OK. Then I could drag this below my text layer. Then I'll select my text layer and up in my effects and presets tab, I'll type in difference and apply this difference matte effect to my text layer. Under the difference layer dropdown, I'll select the black solid and it doesn't look like anything happened. But if I disable the visibility of my black solid, you'll see that we just have our text layer. We can play with the matching tolerance and bump that up a little bit. And we can try adjusting the matching softness as well. But I like to just use the refine soft matte effect here and that'll clean things up really nicely. Just like before, 
I'll drop down the additional edge radius to four, and there we have it. If I disable my white solid, we should be able to see it over the footage. Those are a couple ways of removing the black background from your footage. It is a case by case basis. If you want Crates Unmolt, I'll put a link to it in the description below. And if you want to explore more awesome visual effects, check out productioncrate.com. We have tens of thousands of awesome visual effects for you to choose from. Later, creators.